5 Ways to Bond with Your Father-in-Law Do not criticize his kid. Regardless of any disagreements between you and your spouse, refrain from criticizing his or her children in their presence. Instead, openly express appreciation for your spouse in front of their parents, reassuring them that their child is well cared for in your hands. 1. How to Bond with Your Father-in-Law Similar to your mother-in-law, your father-in-law holds significant importance. It's essential to care for him as well, considering he is the father of your spouse. Their happiness is paramount, as they radiate warmth and joy when content. Here are five ways to foster a bond with him, regardless of whether you're a daughter-in-law or son-in-law. 2. Be a bit careful but talk openly. When engaging in conversation with your father-in-law, maintain openness while also exercising discretion. If you sense significant differences in religious or political views, it's advisable to steer clear of such topics. The older generation often holds sensitivity towards these matters, and it's best to avoid triggering potential arguments. Instead, focus on discussing old memories, experiences from your first job, work-related challenges, and other light-hearted topics. 3. Take his opinion. It's essential not only to include your mother-in-law but also to value the input of your father-in-law. Seek his opinions on various matters and ensure he feels appreciated and respected. Avoid dismissing his contributions and make him feel acknowledged. 4. Spend time with him. Make a conscious effort to dedicate quality time to him. Bond over shared interests such as watching a match together, and consider trying your hand at sports he enjoys. Accompany him based on his preferences, consult your spouse about his likes and dislikes. Delve into his hobbies, if he's passionate about gardening, offer assistance and express eagerness to learn from him. Even if you're already knowledgeable, it's alright to occasionally play the role of a novice. 5. Make him feel special. Treat him to a game of billiards if that's one of his interests. Plan thoughtful surprises for him, they need not be extravagant, just consider it. Additionally, consider inviting him to watch a movie that aligns with his tastes or captures his interest. How to deal with an angry wife. Here's what you must do if your wife is angry. In today's environment, many of us are feeling the strain of work pressure, compounded by the challenges of working from home. Each of us has our own tipping point. If you find yourself struggling to manage your upset wife during these times, here are some guidelines to help you navigate her anger and avoid escalating tensions. Take a moment to review these suggestions and endeavor to apply them when necessary. 1. Know her melting point. Each person has a breaking point. Take note of your partners and if you make a mistake that might provoke her anger, be proactive and approach her immediately. Wear a remorseful expression and apologize sincerely for your error. 2. Don't reason out with her then and there. If she's upset and in the midst of expressing her frustration, she may not be receptive to hearing your perspective. Instead of trying to defend yourself, prioritize listening to her. Allow her to voice her feelings fully, and once she has calmed down, respectfully share your side of the story. Engaging in arguments while she's angry is futile, counterclaims typically exacerbate the situation. Avoid urging her to calm down, as it may escalate her emotions further. Such actions tend to inflame the situation rather than resolve it. 3. Surrender. Rather than remaining silent or engaging in arguments, the most prudent and secure approach is to yield to her perspective. Employ body language that clearly conveys your agreement with her. Occasionally nod your head and emit slow sighs, signifying your acceptance of her point of view. By yielding and showing understanding, she will likely calm down sooner rather than later. 4. Don't take it prick you. Women commonly experience bouts of anger as it's a natural response for many. She might utter words that hurt you, 
but it's important to release any resentment. She may not be fully conscious of the words she uttered during her outburst. Things you should never do on the first date. Keep these things in mind to have a special first date. A myriad of mishaps can occur on a first date. You might find yourself stuttering, appearing overly nervous, or unintentionally saying things that could significantly deter your partner. Astonishingly, many individuals fail to comprehend how their behaviors can transform a first date into a nightmare. To assist those bewildered by the dating scene, here are some absolute no-nos for the first date. 1. Do not ill-treat waiters, drivers or other staff. This is among the primary aspects that individuals observe during a first date. Your behavior towards the restaurant or cafe staff reveals a great deal about your general treatment of others. Being disrespectful towards them immediately casts you in a negative light. 2. Checking your phone. Consistently glancing at your phone during the first date can prove incredibly irksome for your companion. It comes across as impolite and disrespectful, leaving them with the impression that you're uninterested in their company or not fully committed to the date. 3. Being self-obsessed. Avoid coming across as excessively self-absorbed during the initial date. Take an interest in your companion's life, including their work, friends, and other aspects. Exclusively talking about yourself can lead to your date losing interest rapidly. Moreover, refrain from mentioning your ex under any circumstances. 4. Paying the bill. Don't remain passive and expect your date to foot the bill. In the 21st century, it's common for individuals to either take turns covering expenses or split the bill. Observing your date sitting idle or failing to make any effort to contribute when the bill arrives is an immediate turnoff. 5. Giving advice. Refrain from offering unsolicited life advice to your date. They joined you for an enjoyable outing, not to receive guidance from you. This behavior can dampen the mood, as nobody wants to hear about how they could improve their perceived career choices. If you enjoyed watching this video don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell, so you don't miss any new videos. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comments section down below and feel free to stay and enjoy it until the end, also make sure to check out our next highlighted video and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.